it's again Alexandra here. So today I'm back with a brief review and tutorial for using projector. Now this is a tool you might not have heard of and I do find it a bit more difficult to compare it to another tool. So essentially it's a design platform that designers, marketers, and anyone really can use to create a visual experience for their content. But I wouldn't say the platform is like Canva or Adobe Spark or similar solutions. Instead, think of it as a way of turning your content into a visual format. So for example, you can use it for social media posts, GIFs and videos, presentations, and you can even create like visual reports, visual articles, fact sheets, ebooks, anything like that. So right now the tool is at its early stages, so we're going through the features that it has at this moment. When you get started with using the tool, you will be taken through an onboarding session which essentially helps you get accustomed to the way in which this tool works. Keep in mind that the editor for this tool is different from other tools you might be accustomed to. So normally with Canva, you have the menu on the left side and maybe here at the top, but this tool places everything here at the top. So it's essentially different from other tools. That's why I also recommend going through the complete onboarding session just to be sure that you know what you're doing and don't waste a lot of time learning how to use this tool. And I'm actually going to show you some of the tips and tricks that you need to get started with using Projector. So to get started, you have a couple of options. For one, you can just go to the library and this is where you have these starting pieces to kind of get accustomed to the way in which the tool works. Then there's the templates section, which you can also find on the home page, or you can just get started from new story and select the size and type of content you want to create. Something you'll notice just as you scroll through these and as you look through the templates is that it's obvious that Projector was created by a design team first and foremost, so it's not your typical SaaS company. Under the templates sections, you have presentations. So these will probably be the most common types of content you will create because again, you can use these for reports, conference presentations, displaying information on a job opening you have, maybe writing your editorial calendar or just a marketing strategy through these, anything that goes through your mind can be put in this format. Think of it as having visual interactive designs instead of your usual PDF files. Then you have the social stories, which are obviously stories for Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn, whatever. Social posts, again, the same thing for social media. Emails, now just as a quick update, I am planning on launching a newsletter soon, so stay tuned for that. And one thing I'm obviously preparing is a header for the email, so I'm probably going to be using this. Then you have obviously posters and documents, which are materials you might want to print later on, and even Zoom backgrounds. So I am going for this tutorial with this product launch strategy presentation. And you can just preview it and then go to new story with this template. So to get a bit accustomed to the interface, on the very left side at the top, you have your usual options and settings like you would have in maybe Photoshop. Then on the left side, you can switch among these, let's just call them scenes or pages. If you click right on any of them, you can insert a scene after or before. You can also just delete it, or what's important here is inserting a transition. This will be helpful if you want to create either a presentation or a video, and you can also just edit how long you want that transition to last. Also keep in mind this directory of scenes, so to say, works through drag and drop, so you can just move scenes around as you wish. And if you want to focus on a single slide or scene, you just click here and again to hide and show the list of scenes. Of course, you can always just create a new scene from here. And something super handy is that you can actually choose how you want that new scene to look like. And it will be added at the point you're at 
in the list of scenes. Another thing you can do is just always maybe change the template. And when you do this, you are still keeping your old content, but you can add in new pages and scenes from other templates. So this helps you pice up your presentation a bit and maybe just keep it different from your typical template without having to create everything from scratch. So you can always just go in here, look for something you might like. And once you spot a page that suits the rest of your style, just go for it. And when it comes to the editing options, the tool is pretty straightforward to use. At the top here, you have some text options, images, videos, GIFs. So projector is really strong on this part when it comes to GIFs and just stickers, which some of them are animated, icons. The library isn't that complete so far. So you definitely don't have the resources you would have in Canva, for example, where there's just creators putting their work there and just getting paid whenever somebody uses that content. For Projector, they don't have that. So you will have to bring in your own resources. But this is not necessarily a bad thing because I just think the tool is made to be used in order to support your brand. So you need to use your own unique content and just add it on top of maybe a pre-existing template without necessarily bringing in maybe an illustration or an icon that's not suited for your branding. Also at the top here, you have some basic shapes, again, to keep everything minimal. And this is a super cute thing. You have the pen tool. Now the pen tool, well, it does, you know, what any pen tool does, but you know, you can use it to create some shapes, and it's quite detailed, actually. I mean, this is one of the features you don't have in Canva. So in case you've ever needed this a lot, maybe for a presentation or an ebook, just note that it's in projector. And on the right side, when you click on any element, you have lots of options to work with that specific element, from blurs to just effects like this one. And if you expand the tools, you will get something that in the future will probably look a lot more like the options in Photoshop. And even if you add a pre-existing icon, these options still apply. So you have a lot of room for editing these the way you want them to be. Same goes for the text. Again, you actually have here every single option you can imagine including maybe background for your text, highlights. And this reminds me a lot of early 2000s websites. So it's a bit nostalgic to use it in case you enjoy this type of format. Now, once you click outside of any element, you also have these tools at the top here, mainly the background color. Again, you can just customize this as you wish. You can see all of the colors you're using and just change them if you want to. And one of my favorite features is this one to add a media background. So I'm just going to find media videos and I'm going to select one of the videos in here. And the video is automatically placed on the background. Now you can also just go to add media, select a video. Let's say this one. And notice that this time the image or the video is placed on top of everything else. So what you can do is go here to set as background or a more obvious way of actually seeing what each icon means is going to the expanded tools and clicking on set as background. But I'm just going to undo this for a bit. So we can see that every video also has its own settings. So you can add, for instance, a border for the video, maybe change the filters a bit, mute in case you have some audio on that video, play a bit with the media frame. So maybe you want to add this video within a frame like this, like a phone. Maybe you want to have like a screen shared tutorial or something like that. So you just want to place it on the side. 
And again, from the expanded tools, there's just lots of other options in here. And you'll also notice these options to lighten, darken, keep normal colors, add maybe a grayscale. And this is really kind of their way of mimicking the overlays you can add in Photoshop. You can always add a scene transition from the editing options on the right side as well. Or again, just expand the tools and see everything that's in use and what you can change. So when everything is ready, you can just go to present or view. And it's really this page that you can share and people will get to see. So let's just say you want to share this with a collaborator. You go to share, add in their email or get the link, share it with them and they will see this exact thing and even have the option to add some comments on it. You can also just export this either as a PDF, a mix of images and videos, or as a video. So I'm just going to briefly take this down so I can show you kind of what it looks like. So one thing I like about Projector is that whenever I try to preview videos in a Canva, there seems to just be this persistent bug that doesn't allow me to view the video correctly when in the preview mode. However, in Projector, everything is just super smooth and actually it's quite fast. You can always just present this or obviously you can go through the pages here yourself. I just want to briefly go back through the templates to kind of show you some other ideas of content you can create through Projector because honestly the best thing about this tool is the templates library because if you're going to look through this you'll get hundreds of ideas of visual content you can create. So you have things like a launch plan, a posting guide for affiliates, so you can just share this with your affiliates and they will know what's okay to post, what's not okay. You can use this for meetings, again, editorial calendars, the launch strategy we just discussed, a partnership pitch, a marketing proposal, or for any services you might have to offer. You can even add your resume in here, create lesson plans, anything that makes it easier for you to showcase your brand and stand out from the competition, really. This is it about Projector, guys. I'm leaving a link in the description below. If you enjoyed this video or you found it helpful, because honestly, the tool really is super handy, leave a like. Don't forget to leave a comment, subscribe. And of course, if you have any other tool you want me to review, feel free to reach out to me. Have a wonderful week ahead and take care.